I'm Enzo Gabriel Gabriel and this is you know the right to life so first a little bit about myself I would consider myself to be a hard worker committed to things that I have interest in so I think that things that we should have interest in is our rights so I'm a strong believer in the right that we all obtain, which is the right to life. The right to life is simply just the right to be alive <laughs> in society, in a country. Human rights in South African society, in the South African society, are essential in the functioning of the society and economy as well as protect individuals and their freedom in the country. I've chosen to focus on the right to life and I've chosen this right as I believe it is continuously being violated in South Africa and in several ways such as abortion and murder. I believe that if something has a heartbeat, it should be subject to rights, as I believe that everyone should have the right to live in this beautiful country of ours. I firmly believe that if a if any organism has a heartbeat, it should have pain, it should feel pain. So I believe that, you know, with murders, you know, obviously the people the people get shot, stabbed, or killed in any other ways, or being put through some form of torture as you know, they are murdered. And as a portion, I think that those fetuses do in fact feel some some sort of pain. I believe that if something is a heartbeat, okay. As citizens, we have the responsibility to make sure our fellow South Africans have the right to continue their lives and correct any wrongs they may have committed in their lives and to have a future within our societies and communities. A way citizens, a way citizens can limit or prevent death is to have neighborhood watches in all communities to prevent break-ins and possible murders. Another way is to have a police force that will stand against gangsterism within communities with high gang activity as most murders in South Africa are gang-related. We should also promote strong actions against gangsterism and abortion by giving gang members stronger convictions and by making a abortion a criminal offence. In my community, the violation of the right of life or to the right of life is not a common occurrence, but I believe that all people should have the right to live as people should not have the power to play God and choose who lives and who dies. For example, the unborn babies that mothers choose to kill by having an abortion. Those unborn babies could have had an amazing life if their mother wasn't so 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 selfish. Gangsterism in South Africa is the main cause towards our massive homicide rate. Although the government is partially to blame for the gangsterism in our country by having such a weak police force and by allowing gang culture to thrive in the poverty-stricken communities where we see gangsterism and homicide thrive. Violation, violations of the right to life impacts on a community's functionality and the mindsets of the people living in the communities by having them live in a state of constant fear and pressure from gang members who want to rob them or worse. Abortions will contribute to the country's mortality rate and can cause a lack of foreign aid flowing into the country, affecting our already weak economy. Thank you guys. <laughs>